Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a bill condensing and I'm super excited to film this video. The bill condensings are like one of my favorite videos to film besides cash stuffings, obviously. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started and the money that I'm gonna be using for this bill condensing will be my rent money. So I think I'm gonna do a bill condensing every month because I feel like once a month is a good like for me at least once a month is good for a bill condensing and i can do it with my rent money because i have a lot of 100s and 50s in here that would be good to condense my binders so i think that's the plan so i'm going to start off by counting this to make sure it's the correct amount so this should be 1180 dollars so we have 100 200 300 400 500 600 700 800 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 130. Okay, so that's 100, one, $1,180, which is our total rent payment for the month. But they've been only charging us $1,150. The $30 is for our cat. And I pay online and they just been doing the 50 and not the 80. I haven't said anything. And so that $30 I've put back in my rent envelope. But I think from now on, I'm going to put that $30, if it's still $1,150 when I go to pay it online, I think that $30 I'm going to put in month ahead and just keep doing it that way. So I'm only, I was thinking about keeping the $30 out, but if my rent is the 80 this month then i'd rather have that in my account already so if it's not i'll just go to the atm and withdraw 30 dollars and put it in month ahead i hope that makes sense but that's my thought process on this so our bill condensing is a total of 1180 dollars so i'm gonna put these in here so that we can get started with this video so i'm not gonna condense these bills because they're already halfway stuffed they don't get full and they're just going to go back to the bank anyways so i'm going to skip those subscription yeah that's not okay annual expenses we don't need this until april so i could condense this if i can which i can i have two fives so i'm going to take a 10. oh i could put a 50 20 40 50. i didn't even bother to count all of that all right, so we'll put a 50 in annual expenses. All right, credit card, I'm not going to condense either since that's a bill that is just going to go back to the bank here soon. These two are empty. Miscellaneous is also a bill. So savings, we can condense. So we already have a placeholder in here for $1,000, which represents $1,000 in the bank. So we have 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, which is super exciting. Our first 100 since hitting 1,000 in this envelope. I'm just gonna get a good 100 bill because that other one was kind of flimsy. All right, so I'm gonna put those back in there. So in savings, we have 1,100. Really excited to hit 500 in there. That's awesome. Emergency, let's see how much is in here. We have 50, 70, 80, 90. Ugh, that is so close to 100. So I'm just gonna swap those two tens for a 20 and we still have 90 in emergency. All right, taxes has 100, 200, 250, 270, 290, 295, 300, 1, 2, 3. 200, 250, 270, 290, 95, 300. I really wish emergency had $100 so I could put a $100 bill in there. And I guess I should have seen that and put $10 for my cash stuffing when I got paid. So how much? 300, 303 in taxes. All right, month ahead is next. This one can definitely be condensed. So in month ahead, we have 100, 
150, 200, 220, 240, 260, 280, 300, 310, 315, 320, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 326, 320, 5, 6. I had some super crispy ones in that envelope. But that's okay. All right, so month ahead still has 326. 356. That is way better. Okay, nothing in over budget. So we are done with this binder. And now I'm going to go to our low priority sinking funds, which I'm not sure I will have a lot in here. Household, I want to keep smaller bills because a lot of the things I buy are not that much. So pet care, I can condense though. So we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89. I do want smaller bills in here, but I'm also saving up for... Still, I know I mentioned this a long time ago for a like a cat carrier for Milo. So like if I had to take him to the vet, I don't have anything to put him in right now. I've been using my mom's. Like when we moved, I just borrowed my mom's and I gave it back and I I just need my own. So I'm not sure how much those cost, but I am definitely going to put a $50 bill in here to condense that part. So 20, 40, 50. And then the other, so that could be towards that. Like his litter is $16. His food is $10. So I think I'm going to keep these. Yeah, I can't even condense this. So I'm fine with that. So Pet Care still has 50, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89. All right. Logan spending has 49. I can't do anything with that. Home has 10, 11, 12. Okay, this dollar bill is taped. I don't know what to do with... Oh, I'm going to put this in my car payment envelope because that I have to send to the teller because I don't think the ATM will take a taped up bill. So um, $12 in home. So I'm just going to... Okay, I'm going to put this in here. This is my back to the bank, but I'm going to take back that five in a second. So home... Yeah, that's fine. Actually, I wanted better 10 for that. Okay, it's 10, 11, 12. In home. All right. Those can't be condensed gifts. 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 26. All right, so I'm going to go back to my, oh my gosh, this binder, oops. This is such a mess. This binder is opening. Oh my gosh. I think I have too many envelopes in there. I'm going to have to rethink about that. All right. So I'm done with this binder. I'm going to go to car payment because this is going to the bank. This five, I'm going to put the taped five from my back to bank pile in there. Okay. Okay. So next is my personal binder and savings challenges. I don't think I'm going to condense my savings challenge like this 50 envelope challenge. I'm not going to condense. Yeah, I'm just not going to condense my savings challenges. So spending, my spending has 15. Nails has 10. Hair has 45. $1,000 
a really bad five. All right, so now hair still has 45. Logan's envelope. Can't do anything with that. Books, 20, 25, 26, 27. Can't do anything there either. Oh my gosh, lately I've been struggling to put my bills in my envelopes. Planning has 10, clothing I'm gonna keep like that. And yeah, I think that's it for this binder. Next, moving on to high priority sinking funds. All right, so this one, can maybe be condensed. I have 100, 150, 170, 190, 200, 5, 6, 206. So for medical, I think I've been, I add to this all the time. And the only thing that I use this money for are our vitamins, medicine, if we need it, ibuprofen, stuff like that. But I'm also saving up for like actual medical expenses so it would be nice to condense this 50 70 90 100 it'd be nice to do a 100 dollars bill but then i only have six dollars and i think i might need actually no i'm not gonna need vitamins until i get paid next in two weeks so that'll be fine i think okay i think honestly i've been debating i feel like medical should be like for my like medical bills and like doctor's visits and copays and whatever. And then I should have another one, maybe name it health for medicine, for vitamins, for, you know, stuff like that. But then that's another envelope I have to purchase. So I don't know. I think I'm just gonna do it. And honestly, if I need vitamin, like my vitamins, soon and I only have six dollars it costs more than six dollars I could just take it out of household or something for now until I kind of figure out that I mean I could keep them combined but at the same time I want smaller bills for like my medicine and bigger bills for like my medical sinking fund if that makes sense I don't know let me know what you guys do about that down below in the comments I'd love to know so medical still has 206 All right, car maintenance has 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, no, 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140, 145, 150, 151. That is super exciting. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 100. We are trying to build this envelope back up. So I'm super excited that we have reached 150 in there. Cart maintenance has 151. All right, car registration has 5, 10, 15, 20. And we don't need our stickers until March and May of next year. So pet emergency is next. 100, 10, 20, 10, 20, 25, 30. 10, 15, 20, okay. All right, so Pet Emergency still has $130. Rainy day has eight, but maybe I have a better five that I could switch it out for. Okay, travel I don't think I can do anything with. Yes, I can. These two fives can be a 10. Oh, and then those two tens can be a 20. That's all we have in travel? I feel like I had more.
Okay, so travel has 70. Okay, the beach has 100, 150, 170, 190, 200. Oh, awesome. 50, 70, 90, 100, 110, 115, 120. Oh my gosh, I'm second guessing myself. Is that right? 20, 40, 50, 100, 10, 15, 20, 120. Okay, 120. Okay, so the beach has two hundred and twenty dollars. Wedding I haven't added into, so I don't think I can do anything. Oh, yes, I can. A ten. All right, so oh, and there's a fifty, twenty, forty, fifty. Okay. The wedding has $150 still. School, I don't think I can do anything. Nope, $31 in school. House has 15, new car and future have both have five. So I think I'm just gonna switch these to some better bills. just because these are my sinking funds. So I just want better bills. All right, so new car and future, I need two fives. Oh, that was a pretty good five. Oh well. Okay, that is it for this binder. And so that is it for my bill condensing. So I'm going to count all this cash to make sure I still have $1,180. So we have 100, 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, 350, 400. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 220, 240, 260, 280, 300, 320, 340, 360, 380. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Okay, it looks like we're on the right track. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, perfect. That's $1,180. So this money is going back to the bank and I will be paying my rent online. And that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this bill condensing. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you in my next video.